Hello and welcome to KiCad tutorial 1.5 part B how to save KiCad footprint library and a KiCad footprint. We will do this by using the KiCad footprint editor. Now to open the KiCad footprint editor, I just want to show you. Uh, you go into a schema and you click on this icon, the horizontal IC with the green legs, you click on it, uh, there we go, there the footprint editor opens. On the left side in this column is the footprint libraries, these um, just show you, uh, like for example, Fuse is a footprint library, Inductors is a footprint library, and Jumper is a footprint library, and they have a dot pretty extension. And let's go back to Fuse. And if you click on Fuse, this is the um, actual footprints themselves. Uh, they have a dot keycat underscore mod footprint. If you double click here, you can actually see the footprint of the fuse. Perhaps just zoom in a bit for you. And you can see it's fairly small. Uh, but that is how the, the library looks like. The extensions are not the dot pretty extensions of the um, footprint libraries and the dot uh, keycat underscore mod extensions are not visible in the are not shown in the footprint editor. I just want to show you uh, before I do that, keycat does not allow you to store any of the footprints that you created yourself in any of the footprint libraries. So you have to create your own file and your own libraries to store your the footprints that you have created. Now I have already created a file. Um, I just want to show you where it is on my laptop. Once again, right on the C drive, here it is. And I called it KiCat Footprints. Just click on it. There I've created a test uh, footprint. Uh, and as you can see, it's the .keycat underscore mod file extension. Now, another thing you have to know is if you want to uh, KiCat to take cognizance of Anything you have to add it, and you do that by manage footprint libraries. You click here, and you just go back quickly again. You click on preferences, and then you click on manage footprint libraries, and then the footprint libraries window opens, and then you scroll down. Now, if we want to add that file, you have to click on this plus sign. No, sorry, you have to click on this add existing library to table. This little um, folder icon, you click here, and it's already, it's already uh, there, it's already selected that. So you click select keycat footprints. And you click OK, and there it's listed. And then you click OK, and you can see now it's updating the footprint libraries. We have added that file. This is important because it's extremely frustrating to create a footprint and then you just to find you cannot store it. So you have to go through this process beforehand before you start creating a, a, a new footprint yourself. So it should now be
visible. Where's the case? Ah, oh, there it is. KiCad footprints. And there's the test footprint, which I've already um, created. If you double click on it, you can, this is, of course, not practical. It's just a test footprint, just to see that the whole thing works. But we can also create another footprint quickly, just to show you. And we can do that by clicking on this icon, New Footprint. And we enter the footprint name here. Uh, let's call it Test Footprint. Click OK. And uh, just select that and right click and select Move. Move this footprint a bit upwards. Select this, select move. Move that a bit downwards. And uh, just make it very simple. Just give it a couple of pads like that. And there we are. Now we've created another test footprint, and as you can see, it has already allocated it in the KiCad footprints file. Uh, that little asterisk indicates that it's not been saved. So what you do now, you just click here to save, let it save. So you have another uh, footprint uh, in the KiCad footprints uh, folder. And just to show you, on the computer itself, let's go here. Go to scroll to the C drive over here. There's KiCad footprints. Click over here. And there you can see there's the test footprint uh, that we just added with the dot KiCad underscore mod file extension. Now, but you can also add a specific library, and you do that by clicking on Preferences. Yeah, no, 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 that's not right. Click on File, and you click New Library. You can also add a library. At this stage, we've just added um, Footprints. Click over here, and you can see it has a dot pretty extension. That means it is a library. Now, we want to put that library in our uh, folder, our KiCad um, footprint folder. We go to Windows, we go to the KiCad footprints library, and you can call this one. Capacitors, and it's all capacitors in, in this library. So we call it capacitors, like that. Let's see, make it more global. Okay, and there you can see KiCad has added the, the um, capacitor library. And now we can put a test footprint in there just to see that it works. You click over here, new footprint. You call this footprint. Let's call it test two. There we are. There's test two and you can see it's already in the uh, library folder. And let's move this these two just a bit out of the way, like that. Select the this ref. And select move. Move it out of the way, like that. Make let's make this a very simple. Footprint, just give it 
two pads like that. Click cancel, cancel the last one. And yeah, there it is. Just click save. As you can see, it's got a little asterisk over there. It means it hasn't been saved. You just click save. There it's been saved. And now to check what has happened with our file. Everything is okay over there. Go to the to our file on, on, on our computer. And we go to the C drive. And we go to KiCad Footprints. And there you can see is the library that we capacitor library that we created. It has the dot pretty extension. And there is the test uh, two footprint that we created and it has the dot keycat underscore mod file extension. Okay. Okay, just as a final check, we see if everything is okay. Go to preference, we go to manage footprint libraries, and you see the footprint libraries window opens. We go to global libraries, and we scroll down, and there we see it. There's the KiCad footprint folder, and there is the capacitor library that we added. So everything seems to be in order. I think this is enough for now. Next time we will create our own footprint. Let me know in the comments below if you have struggled to save a keycap footprint that you have created yourself. If you feel this video has helped you, give it a like. If you would like to see more, click the subscribe bu button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.